I told you. I told you. Happy Saturday. Here's the brand new unveiled buggy. The 2024 Thor Chateau 26X with one slide out, as you can see in the living room. We got the limo tent. Nobody's seeing in there. Okay. We got the hieroglyphics. Maybe they're not even that. It's just graphics, but we're hyping anyways. We got the we got the uh, polished up stainless steel rims. Look at this hybrid toy hauler situation. Surprise, surprise, playa. We're putting the scooter in here right in the back, right up that wheelchair ramp. Hopefully it don't come down. This was a big selling point right here. That's a cast iron griddle. Yeah, get off me. There's a TV that's just for show, as I'm about to announce a little bit further. Uh, love those swivel seats. Now that living room opens up. Of course, top bunk, class C. You got the TV there, uh, similar to the coach key. And that, that couch folds out, of course. But, I mean, you got a lot of leg room here to stretch out. A lot of counter space. I don't know if that's granite countertop, probably not, but I'm going to pretend. Just a lot more space. Light, airy. Bathroom is definitely bigger. Yeah, a lot more cupboard space here. They get this thing called the shower miser to save water and to recirculate hot water without wasting it. I don't even know how to use it or spell that, but I'll figure it out. So, yeah, the bathroom is much bigger. And this is magic. This is the hybrid toy hauler situation. Full size bed folds down, and you got your cupboard space up top. So you can sleep back here. Here's the fold up mechanism. You're welcome. I mean, I'm here all week on display. And then look at the tie downs. That's gold. Folks, here we are. Listen, I don't even know if I have to yell loud or get a megaphone or what, because there's just too much space in here. I can't even get over myself. That's the truth of it. I fell in love with this thing. I don't know what journal entry this is. I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget, so I'm not even going to keep doing that anymore. Um, look, this buggy is ready to run. She's greased up. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't put slicks and wheelie bars on this piece. We're rolling the 7.3 liter Ford gasser. Like I said, I might have to get a megaphone. This place is so big at this point. I bring the slide out and it just turns into the Grand Canyon. I don't want to hype it, but because with a slide in, there's so much room. It's light. It's airy. I mean... It's like, it's like you walk into, you know, you figure harps might start giving audio out of the walls, which we got our speakers, we got all the things. Um, you know, you set your phone on this thing right here. It charges it automatically. You got your cup holders. You got your couch if you want to hang out, do some sort of interview, whatever it is. Um, it's got an oven. Um, due to the no convection microwave situation, which I don't even know if I'm going to do anything with that oven, but it doesn't matter. A uh, lot of similarities between this and the other one in terms of specs. Although, again, we're on that 7.3 gasser. This is a Ford chassis, not the Chevy. And I don't know who wants to argue the difference between Ford and Chevy, but I'm on board. So I love this thing. That hybrid toy hauler situation, oh, I'm rolling the scooter up in here, no problem. I mean, we're, we're going we're gonna to work that angle. And while it's out, you get your fold-down bed. Golly, I'm surprised I didn't even sit on this couch. It's about to blow me off because it's so hot right now. So really thankful for this. This is a great buggy. Already introduced myself. Uh, apparently we're calling it the hammer because it's a Thor. It's made by Thor. Um, compliments of Josh Massey. You know, he's the name caller around here. Not the shot baller. That's me. He's the name caller. So we were different there, but it doesn't really matter. So no, I love it. I, I can't even get over it. 
and um, yeah, we're gonna take this. We're gonna take our talents west here soon and figure out our lives. We're on a vision quest at this point to uncover the truth of the situation, which we don't even know what the situation is, so don't even ask me. But very thankful, very appreciative of this one. Wow, it's brand new. It was just bougie enough for me to fall in love with it, but still a little bit of fuckery to where I will fumar in here. Uh, that's Spanish, I believe, for smoking. It's my bilingual skills today. So anyway, that's that. Uh, the swivel seats, it's, it, it checks all the boxes, got the bells and whistles that we like. And that outdoor grill, that, that's, that's cast iron, that's not Teflon or no poison. So, you know, you catch your brook trout, you throw it on there. So I don't even have to carry some of my stuff that I normally would when I cook outside. The TV is for show. Uh, I won't even play that. I'll just, I'll just lift up the compartment and be like, yeah, I don't know. There's that if you want to take a look at it. But I don't even, I probably won't even watch that. TV up here, of course, won't even watch it. That's for show. We just show off. And uh, yeah, just really thankful. And they got to do some... I gotta take it in again for some repairs on some some action, no big deal, but I uh, got the USB ports. Anyway, this thing's wide open. If you needed to shove six, seven bodies in here sideways, bunk bed style, like basic training, if you wanna relive those days, we could do that. A lot of pantry space. They really give a shit about storage and I, I am a minimalist to a degree, but I do like to pack rat a little bit for a rainy day. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, hope everybody's well.